Alrighty, Sunshines, a little bit of Pokemon news here. There's the new seven star update that was announced yesterday, and we also have information about the missing patch 3.0.1 that was supposed to have come two weeks ago. Let's talk about that. First up is going to be the Penguin seven star raid. This thing is coming in next weekend, and the weekend after that, it's seven stars, Ice Terra. It's going to be super, super easy because of that. Our old fashioned Iron Hands build that we've been using for a how long now? Two years? Is going to be great at dealing with this, I have no doubts. Ice Terra is an easy one, uh, so either way, this is only gonna have like mostly water or ice type moves either way. Nothing too special is gonna get in your way and stop you from being able to handle this with your old Iron Hands build. And there's gonna be lots of other options too. So I don't think there's gonna be too much of a challenge for this seven star raid. It's coming next weekend and the weekend after. It's gonna be the usual seven star stuff. We're gonna have the unrivaled mark, gonna have hidden ability, and and six IVs, so you can check that out when that comes. I will have a build ready to go with a video on how to solo this for people who do not have online. Now, as for patch 3.0.1, which was promised to us over a month ago and planned to have been released mid-January, that hasn't happened. People were wondering if they've just totally forgotten about it, and it's very likely they just weren't able to handle a little new issue that arose since after they first announced it, which of course, was the huge, huge new duplication glitch. Very, very cool, very, very handy uh, for everybody to kind of duplicate all their new items and stuff. And it is in, of course, the latest version, very easy to do by them. So uh, they probably want to handle that first and add it into the patch, making it a little later. But they finally announced it's absolutely going to be released on the 1st of February, the 1st of February. Now, originally, this patch was going to deal with uh, freezing issue when you leveled up Inke and of course not being able to uh, craft TM Metal Sound in Pokemon Scarlet. So they did the they did the mystery gift rewards for 10 TMs of that move in particular because uh, crafting it in the game actually required you to get a material from a Pokemon that didn't even spawn in your game. So it was a Violet exclusive. Yeah, the Scarlet players just couldn't craft the, the, the TM. So that's cool. Yeah, so I mean, they're probably going to be adding a patch for this here, the item dupe for version 3.0.0. So highly recommend you do one of two things, folks. You either get on this now so you can get everything you need. Uh, honestly, good few ability patches is all you're gonna really need because you can use the money from ability patches to buy almost anything else in the game. I recommend duping April Balls that you like because those are just awkward to get anyway, even if you have the money. And Master Balls in case you need to still catch a lot of the legendaries, but uh, you don't need too many Master Balls. About 20 to 30 will do you because I don't think there's anything else coming in the game that's going to require you to need Master Balls anyway. Bottle Caps, you don't need those because you can actually buy normal Bottle Caps in the Chansey stores with the money you make from ability patches anyway, so you'll have no limited supply on that. The other thing you can do is to go into your switch settings and turn off auto update. The only problem with that is it will prevent you from being able to use online after the updates go live until you update the game, which means you're not gonna be able to participate participate in my wonderful giveaways. That would be sad, wouldn't it? So there's <laughs> that. Um, but also, uh, accidents happen for whatever reason in various different ways. The update still kicks through even if you have update off which I don't know how or why that happens, but it seems sort of deliberate. They obviously want to encourage you to update the game. And after this patch comes out, there will be a new mystery gift as there always is. It's not gonna necessarily be worthwhile getting, but it will be a new mystery gift that always encourages people to update the game so you can get your hands on it anyway. So you're gonna have to keep those things in consideration when you do this. Honestly, the best method is to just go ahead and get it and then use this, this thing now. I will leave that video there for you folks to use. So you can check out the instructions if you're new to this little glitch. You have two days to do it, so enjoy that. And I also have the giveaway going now for all the Johto legendaries from old mystery gifts. There's 10 in there, shiny and non-shiny. If you're a mystery gift collector, that giveaway is for you. Highly recommend you check that out and get your hands on those. You have until next Sunday to avail of that. So uh, there's quite a bit of time yet on that to get your hands on them. Till next one, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you then. Bye.